Oh, yeah. it going? Mm. Hey guys, I'm Katie Jane Hughes, celebrity and editorial makeup artist, and I'm here at the bar at Studio 59 in Bloomingdale's with Russell and Brittany, who are beauty stylists here. And we're gonna talk all things skincare. We're gonna spill the tea on the best stuff, and the best tips and tricks. So, what is your skincare routine? My skincare routine, always cleanse. Yeah. And I don't know, like, do you use a different cleanser day or night, or? I use an oil cleanser pretty much exclusively at nighttime, and I only cleanse at night. I don't cleanse in the morning, ever. Yeah, so I'll do cleanser, toner, serum, eye cream, face cream, wow. always an SPF. Yeah. Yes, essential. What about you? I so yeah, so I um, will cleanse my skin and then I exfoliate. Same thing, I don't really wash my face in the morning as well. Why? Um, because I'm just sensitive. I don't want to overdo it. For sure. And, yeah, I agree um, with that. Yeah. Uh, there are certain like Brodiel pads that I use in the morning to yeah. in them. Yep. And then super easy and quick. Yep. And then I'll do my regimen. Yep. I love this. I actually use this particular cleanser. It's so nice. For years and years since I've been doing makeup, I've always used cleansing oils, cleansing balms, cleansing something. Because it just, as a makeup lover and a makeup wearer and a makeup artist, I want to just like take off my makeup so quick without any effort. You guys probably know about cleansing yeah. oils and have tried oh, yeah. them. Yeah. This one feels just so like light and natural. It's a clean brand, but it feels light and like not too heavy. I used it last night. Um, and I don't cleanse in the morning because I like the oils that develop on my skin overnight to kind of benefit my makeup the next day. Even though I would do the peel pad thing that you do, mm -hmm. like I'll do a little bit of a pad. Like these are actually really good, these star skin ones. Um, Love. To just get rid of any like excess dead skin so that your makeup doesn't stick to it and your makeup doesn't cling to it in certain places. Um, because, you know, I agree with the overdoing it. But I do think that if people cleanse twice a day, then that's fine. If that works for them, I think that that's totally cool too. Mm -hmm. Now, I, what I do is I take this, I put it on dry skin, I rub it all over my face, I melt all of my makeup, I take a really, really hot washcloth, mm -hmm. I put it over my face for like 10 seconds and I do a bit of a... <sighs> and then I wipe everything away and I put a decent amount of pressure with my cloth because that's my minor exfoliation at night before I go to bed. Yes. Sometimes I put something on to sleep in, skincare-wise. Sometimes I don't because I just like my skin to do its own thing, you know what I mean? Right. I think sometimes if cleansing is right, everything else just falls into place. Um, and then in the morning I assess the situation again. Yeah, I, I think though, going to um, just using one product though, if I do ever do that, it is an oil, gold fat and MD. What I like about it because I'm oily as it is, it doesn't leave that oily, greasy finish yeah. on my skin. Yeah. Do you ever use it to like universal. thin out your foundation or like control the consistency of your foundation? I do. Nice. Um, especially around this area too, yeah. where I feel like I need that extra. I actually use the same oil and I just keep it in my shower. Oh, I really love that you do this. Why because, do you live in the shower? What's the benefit of that? Because it's just quick for them. Ah. And it's like, you just do it, they don't have, they don't even Depending think on like, your face is still wet or yeah. whatever and like, yeah, get the benefit. Bit. And then you have more of a slip nice. so you don't have to use too much product, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. How often do you exfoliate? I exfoliate a little gentle, tiny amount every day mm -hmm. that kind of keeps the dead skin at bay. Yeah. That rhymed. Um, <laughs> and I like doing that more so than like an intense mask once a week or once every two months, uh, two weeks even, because I feel like for makeup wearers, you know, makeup is a foreign body and it's a thing that sticks on the face and pollution from New York and all of the stuff yeah. and all the products we use. That skin can build up in a matter of hours. Exactly. And my skin is sensitive to, my skin is prone to like dry flaky bits easily because I'm like combination dry. So I have to, I'd rather exfoliate a tiny, tiny bit every day and you know, keep it, keep it at bay. Exactly, yeah. Which right, I yeah. think those pads too, yes. they're like, they, it does like 10 different things. Every but the cool thing about these is they're double sided. So one side has like a little different kind of texture to it, like a right. beaded abrasive side. So you use that first and then you flip the pad over and then you get this kind of almost smoother kind of side that's a bit more polishing up to the face. And this is a really affordable brand. I really, really love Star Skin. Their, their sheet masks are my favorite. They make these biocellulose ones and they're quite, they're those rubbery ones, you know? I don't like the paper sheet masks as much, but the rubbery ones, I feel like they really do something for me. They like to make everything go like, yeah. snatched. Love it. But I also think it's important to use a sheet mask before you do your makeup and not before you go to bed. I think a lot of people yeah. do sheet masks before they go to bed and I'm like, no, 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 you like, unless it's just a hydrating one, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I feel like sheet masks are that like pre makeup step. Totally. So Katie, tell me about your, you know, steps. What do you do every morning? What do you do at night? What do you use? Like your skin's always amazing. Oh, Come on. Yeah. Give me the tea, girl. Come on, spill that tea. Spill the tea. You know, know, I do like to keep it simple and not overwhelm my skin. My skin reacts quickly to something. Mm -hmm. I live by a few rules. I live by only introduce one new product at a time because that way you only know what's working. And for sensitive skin like mine, I feel like that's really important. 
I live by a cleansing oil, cleansing balm, cleansing gel, whatever it is, whatever, they're all in the same world. I think that if you're dry, a cleansing balm is good. If you're oily, a cleansing oil is good. What is it's it normally smell lighter. Like? It um, the other thing that I like live by is a really, really rich cream. So this is the Bobbi Brown Extra Rich Moisturizer, the repair one with the SPF 25. And before I would do this, I would use something like this. So, night, yeah. so for example, let's recap. Nighttime, before I go to bed, wash it off. Maybe I'll put a bit of a serum on or an oil to go to bed. I'm not sure, it depends on how I'm feeling that night. I'll do this in the morning when I wake up just to get rid of any dead skin and any excess oil that came to me overnight. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. How important is SPF to you guys? Uh, it's the most important. <laughs> I'm like, if someone doesn't wear SPF, I'm, I can't help it. My face is just like, what? I'm pretty naughty and I don't wear it every <laughs> single day, but I do believe in the importance of it. Like if I know, thank you very much. Yes, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, bring it on. Thank you so much. Cheers. I love, um, I love SPFs that don't hinder my makeup, but that actually benefit my makeup. And actually one that I found that really benefits my makeup is the Viteri SPF 50. Cause it has this insane sheen that like, I'm literally trying to get all the time with makeup. So it's giving me that gleam and that glow. And it was because it is a sheeny, very glowy, dewy product. I would just intensify the coverage with a matte concealer in my T-zone and then I get that balance. Katie, you're a jet setter girl. <laughs> Tell me, what do you use on the flight before or after? Like, what do you do? It depends on how long the flight is, but I always go bare in the air, like my friend Joanna Simpkin says. She's like big, she's a makeup artist, and she's like, she's got this hashtag bare in the air, and I think it's very important. Um, and the other thing that I do really is just, sl I have lip balm in my like headphone case, because that like, I hate when my lips feel dry on a plane, and I use like whatever it is that I've got. I sometimes weirdly put it just around my nostrils too, because they get dry and yeah. it kind of feels uncomfortable, just like the, um, but a sheet mask, like the Starskin sheet mask, something that just keeps the moisture in. This kind of thing, because it's that biocellulose technology. What do you do? Well, one, I love that you put that on the plane. <laughs> I mean, hey, I'm like fine to scale, no, right? Case. Well, because everything's just like sucking out of you, so that's just gonna stick to you and nothing's gonna come out, right? Mm -hmm. um, Gosh, so I actually do uh, the Shantakai um, Gold Eye Mask. Oh, I love they're those, yes. Um, and also when I'm just doing makeup, I'll apply them and do eyeshadow. Right. But traveling wise- Because it catches the fallout. Yeah. You can if always tell on my eyes when I'm, when I'm traveling. Mm. Um, or I'm something just a little spritzer. Yes, nice face mist Absolutely. and plain. Yeah. What, what do and you, you know, do? You know the Rodeal uh, sleep mask? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's, it's small, so it's like travel friendly. Mm -hmm. I just keep it in like my travel bags. Nice. Easy, put it on, go to sleep, Love it. wake up, I feel nourished. Yeah, there's a, there's a few sleep masks that I like. The more Pacific one, I love that That's one. Great. It smells amazing. What's the one tip that you would share to a client that was in your store? Okay. Everyone wants a good eye cream. Yeah. I say apply in the concerned areas where you have lines. Right. And that's a little tip or trick um, just for something fast. Mm. Um, and the oil just on top of the makeup really quick as well. I love that one. What about you? I always tell my clients, because a lot of my clients too, especially here in New York, they're busy, they're on the go. So like my biggest thing is for like that businesswoman that you know she doesn't necessarily want to do a full foundation and everything. Mm -hmm. I tell her, please girl, just give me the mascara, a lip, and then like a little bit of like something to even out the skin tone and go. Like, that's awesome. That's it, you know, like something because it elevates the look. Right, you know my, I, mean? I think my favorite tip is to talk about textures with people and I think it's really important. I, I often see a lot of people rubbing very, very hard with brushes or tools on their face and I'm like, once you put your moisturizer on, the pressure that you do during the massage phase can be quite firm and invigorating and quite like therapeutic. Mm -hmm. But every single thing that goes on the face after that point, I think should go on lighter than the thing before because I think people don't always realize that textures have to be blended just as much as colors. And if you over blend color, you'll make it patchy. If you over blend face cream, it'll be patchy in a weird sense. And you can sometimes see that. And it's like, yeah. often you'll push very hard blending your foundation and you'll actually be rubbing the foundation in too much to the point where it's coming off and therefore removing some of the moisturizer that's underneath it. So that's my top tip as far as like application. Absolutely. All right, guys, that was fun. Fun. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Beautiful skin. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned some new tricks and tips. And I'm really excited to take all of this time with me because it's coming with me, my makeup bag.